was thinking of a quote from Rick and Morty. What Rick said to Summer. He said, Summer, isn't it interesting how all that stuff we did, it d didn't mean anything and none of it mattered? That's how I feel about my life. It's just this long series of fucking annoyance, is what it is. And the thing is, I don't know, I just have this thing where I'm always, you know, tackling new shit with enthusiasm. Well, maybe not always, you know, I get really ground down. And then it fucks me, you know, anytime, you know, every situation I, I get into is barely tolerable when I get there, and then it gets fucking worse. It's always like that. You know, it's probably just because I'm so easygoing about stuff. I just, I don't, like, I just, I want to fucking get that SSI and just fucking coast the rest of my life. I deserve it. I deserve to fucking coast the rest of my life. I deserve that and then some. I'm not going to get it, probably. I'm just so sick of this fucking god shit. It's it, like there's an, it's just inexpressible. Alternate dimensions, high, you know, alternate timelines, higher dimensions, lower dimensions. Just stupid. Who fucking cares? <sighs> you know, I enjoyed my time at the L Minor Center just reading books. I feel like I could do that with the rest of my life. If I could get some SSI, just too fucking mentally crippled to work, just read books, it'd be nice. There's plenty of books. There's also Netflix. Just always fucking working. Working on my... Working regular stuff, and then zany fucking god stuff. You know, I just want some fucking stability to my life. I regret ever leaving that apartment in... Overland Park. You know, when I had that revelation that I, I'm God, I should have just been like, you know what? Nope. And then just ignored that shit. And then when I start drawing symbols on things, just be like, you know what? Nope. Not gonna do that. That's my regret. Never even engaging with this shit. By the way, there's no hot water here. There was yesterday, but not today. Just another example of a situation that's already intolerable being more intolerable. I guess it's so motherfucking hot that a cold shower might actually be refreshing, but I'm sick of looking on the fucking bright side of shit. <sighs> you know, I'm gonna be working in a hot warehouse. Like, I just, I hope I can get some disability or something. Uh find some people to testify like yeah the guy thought he was god thinks he's god you know i better i better keep think telling people i think i'm god when i'm doing disability interviews <sighs> worked hard my entire fucking life <sighs> nothing to show for it nothing whatsoever I mean, it's not even that I want anything to show for it, other than, like, I don't know, some fucking stability. That's all I ever care about, you know? Just have a nice routine where I get up, go to work for a while, come home, watch some Netflix or some shit. I used to make YouTube videos. Just a routine in the same place without having to go every fucking place. It's fucking unbearable. <sighs> you know, have some possessions. You know, I don't even have to interact with them. Just know that they're there. Fuck. You know, this whole time, I always feel like... Or I, I, I always keep thinking that something's gonna happen soon. Like, just, just a little bit longer, Ray. Just a little bit longer. But eight years is a really long time not really know what's going on with shit. 
you know, and I say all this stuff about how how everything works, but it's like I'm just saying that stuff. I mean, I sure sound confident, but uh, who cares? Just you know. You know, I mean, it's an escapist fantasy. It's not helping me escape nearly enough because my life is just this constant fucking just struggle and heartache. You know that place that I worked at when I lived at that apartment on Garnett Drive? It, uh, it went out of business. But I'm sure I would have found another job. Could have stayed in that apartment. I miss that apartment so much. Just miss having a place. You know, it was nice. I had a bedroom. The bedroom had a closet. The closet was full of shit. The bedroom was full of shit. I had the old brown recliner from my parents. I, you know, I like old shit. I don't have any old shit. If I get new shit, it's not going to be old shit. It's going to be new shit. So sick of replacing all my shit. Not that I even bother that much. <sighs> 42 years old. Not a goddamn thing to show for all of this fucking god shit. You know, let, let the universe fucking burn. It seems like it's going to do that regardless. So I should really focus on me. <sighs> I'm on the bottom goddamn rung of the socioeconomic ladder, as fucking usual. But, you know, the prices of everything is going up. The goddamn temperature is going up. The air quality is going down. Everything's going to shit. And it's like, if ever there was a time to be scrambling entirely out of self-interest and not fucking caring about any extra shit, now is the time. <sighs> I just feel like I've put in so much work, I just wish somebody would fucking save me. You know? I just hope SSI comes through. Hope I don't have to work. I'm just so tired. <sighs> tired of god shit and tired of always working, being unappreciated, used, and thrown away. Admittedly, I threw away the job at the paper place that I worked when all of this god shit started. But you know what? I was doing so much fucking work. Probably why I started going crazy to begin with. You know, and there's always, there's just, a, you know, I like, I, I don't even want to interact with people at all. Just want to hole up in some nice government assisted housing and just never fucking interact with any goddamn person. Read some books and watch some Netflix. Never think about doing even a lick of fucking god shit because fuck that shit. <sighs> yeah. Anything else to say? I mean, the thing is, I want to say more, but it'd just be repeating myself because I'm so fucking sick of this life I've been living. I mean, for the last eight years especially, but, you know, the 35 before that weren't exactly peachy. But, I mean, I wasn't quite as tired then, either. Really fucking tired now. You see these white fucking hairs? They're not even gray. They're white. That's how tired I am. Yeah, you know, I could probably be reasonably happy. Just get up, have some coffee, go to the library, get a book, read that, watch some Netflix, not interact with a goddamn person or a goddamn thing all day. Because I am at a point in my life where I know where that leads. With me busting my ass for fucking nothing. Also, God stuff. Well, I mean, like, that's also for nothing. Doing it while also busting my ass at work, you know? Or just bust my ass doing that shit in between work whoa, 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 whoa. what good's it gonna do 
frankly, I kind of hope the universe fucking collapses. It's a piece of fucking shit. Every last bit of it. I hope it's unmade and it screams while it is unmade. But that's just wishful thinking. I'm not going to think about the god shit. Get any urge to do god shit, I will just fucking ignore it. Any fucking thoughts about how it all works? No, I know how it works is everything's a piece of shit. That's how it fucking works. We're all a bunch of goddamn animals, or at least that's been my observation. Everybody just clawing for their shit. I mean, okay, not every one, like... Actually, people, a few people have sent me money, and it's like, they don't need to do that. Well, you know, it's... What good is there in the world, really? What's the point? You know, if this world needs a hero, it's gonna have to be somebody else, because I'm just done, is what I am. <laughs>